CBS Sports presents the Verizon Halftime Report. And welcome back to our New York studio and the Verizon Halftime Report. It is the official 5G network of the NFL back here in Studio 43, ready for the highlights. Joe Flacco just keeps Browns, going right here. Texans. To, go deep to his one of his favorite receivers. Watch this. 22-7. Browns. The halftime. Old school quarterback. Old school throw. Ah, uh, new school results. It's called a touchdown for right there for Amari Cooper, 75 yards. He needs to connect here with his another his tight end, David Njoku. Right down that middle from 21 uh, yards. Dustin Hopkins, a kicker, is Colts first return to two points. Falcons. Colts at the Atlanta Falcons. 13 7 ATL at the half. 7 0 Indiana. Indianapolis, I should say. Taylor Heineke hits Kyle Pitts in the end zone for mm. 24 yard touchdown to tie the game. 13 7 Atlanta. Right? Lions. We have Vikings. Match up the Lions, Vikings. 17 14. Detroit. Half half time. Time. That's 7 to 0. That that point the game. Second quarter. We're going to give it to Jameer Gibbs. And he is going to skate around the sideline. And that man has pure speed. And now you have Nick Mullins. I call him Saint Nick Mullins, who gets this pass to Justin Jefferson. Wow. wow. Makes a play. The Lions. They lead though, 17 to 14. Hawks, Seattle Seahawks, Titans. Titans. Give it to Derrick Henry and watch him. Do 10 damage. to 3. With Tennessee with 14:54 left in the third quarter. TD by Henry. Titans lead 10 to 3. All righty, Packers. Panthers. Already, here's a one-yard touchdown. 23-10. Green Bay at halftime. He comes and he's going to find Dontavian Wicks for a 21-yard touchdown. Nice throw and catch. This is where you hold on to it, get into the lead. Packers lead 23-10 at half. Commanders, Jets. Jets. It's a free salt type of day, guys. Oh. Hey, 27, 7, New York, York with 58 Brown. seconds till halftime in the in the tri-state area. Touchdown. He just scored. Jets lead the Commanders 27-7. Joe Flacco to Amari Cooper. Little play action pass. First play for the Cleveland Browns wow. offense right down the middle. Mm. Beautiful pass right in the hands of Amari Cooper. Then once again, play action out of shotgun oh. and a deep out hey. cut to Amari Cooper. What a throw. No question. Good move and then a play action pass. Joe Flacco moving to his left, moving the pocket. Oh. Throws it 56 <laughs> yards in the air to Amari Cooper for the touchdown. And Joe Flacco, what a first half for him. 12 of 22. <laughs> 246 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. The last interception was the last play of the first half. No big deal. But Amari Cooper, you see what he's done. Yeah, this defense, number one in the National Football League, and this is why. Right here, you can see Miles Garrett can stuff the run. He can play the pass. You can see the Zary, this is Darius Smith. Where are you going, Case? Ah, uh, no, man, there's no running away from the Jews. You're going down. And then all of a sudden, you get there. Pressure. Alex Wright, then a one to Caraboa. You know what? They can play coverage linebacker. The ball is tipped. It goes in there. Case Keenan is 9 of 13 for 48 yards. One interception, two. He's been sacked twice. and only got 75 total yards. Here's the one they all say. When we talked about this the pregame show, Case Keenan was going against the number one defense. They are really struggling, passing, running. They can't do anything. So if you are Joe Flacco, it's great to see him ripping it down the field. I love all that stuff. Just don't turn the ball over because your defense is smothering the Texan offense. Yeah, the, the combination of Joe Flacco in this offense with Njoku and Amari Cooper is fantastic. We know that Njoku is that big target, especially when you start getting close to the red zone, that helmet or higher for a big fella that can go up and get it like a power forward in a basketball game. Yeah. That's great. Amari Cooper, regardless of the jersey he puts on, he is one of the best route runners yeah, of wow. his generation. And what you showed, Phil, was perfect because he ran that deep, almost post-corner, which serves almost like a comeback. And then later in the game, yeah. they dial up the Set stop up. and go, which is basically a comeback look. And then he goes deep for the touchdown. He is balling out right JB now. always wants to know why was Joe Flacco sitting out there. Yes. I'll just say this. This Cleveland offense, all the, all the years he played in the NFL, this is by far the best offense for him because he's under center screens. They move the pocket, the play actions, the big throws down the field, which – is amazing. They get those big throws every single week. And he's not afraid, like you talk about. Now, Dustin Hopkins, his question will return. He doesn't. They don't have a kicker. 
So you know what? He says, you know what? I don't care. It's the last play to happen. Let's throw it in there. <laughs> yeah. After the fair reception, yeah. big deal. Not a big Goes deal. winning is not a big not deal. not a stats guy. He's a team player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good attitude, Coach. I don't I'll care. Just yeah. get it done. Go for it. Celebrate the holidays tomorrow, folks, right here on CBS for the Christmas Day Showdown. That's when the Raiders uh, and the Chiefs renew their rivalry. It all starts at noon Eastern right here with the NFL today. The NFL is on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Do you think Coach ever told Ben Roethlisberger, no, 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 I wouldn't it. say that. that. <laughs> but if my kicker was questionable, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had no choice. And the Verizon Halftime Report continues. CBS Sports presents the Verizon Halftime Report. Verizon, the official 5G network of the National Football League.